Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 66 of Direwolf20's server play series. Hanging out with Covert Soren and Morvalaria still. Uh, just getting situated on the server because I want to get building. Probably going to use a hopper here to make sure that I have a good amount of Forcillium hanging out down there. Um, just make sure I have a little bit extra. I want to make sure hoppers work on these MFFS guys anyway. So let's see, extractor here. Let's just put a hopper down and uh, just some extra... Oh yeah, look at that. Forcillium drops right in. Perfect. I do have to figure out what this block is for. I haven't totally sorted that out yet. I've noticed I can put an empty one in there if I don't have Forcillium in there. I don't know what it does. I think it just takes pure IC2 energy and makes Forcillium, but I don't know. I have to figure out what that's about. That's one of the few things in MFFS that I don't really fully understand right now. But everything else I got a pretty good gist of. Oh wait, did I forget something? Ah, missed it. Yeah, one more to put in there. Boom and boom. Cool. Plenty of uh, that stuff. Let's get out of here this way. Cool. Dude, totally love this whole setup I got here. Now it's just a sit and wait for Richard G to log in. Haha. <laughs> we'll get him one of these days, don't worry, guys. Now, what do I want to do today? Well, I probably want to get around to making that Red Power 2 thing that I was talking about. Um, or no, not Red Power 2. Rubber. Yeah. I was reading Red Power 2, and I meant rubber. Uh, so I need to make a rubber tree farm. How do I want to do that? By the way, anybody know who, like, overtapped my rubber trees? No. Because there's only two resin spots left on my rubber trees over here anymore. I used to have, like, 20. I could get a stack that of rubber is. from this little rubber tree thing, and now there's only two resin spots left. Yes. It's not cool. Not cool. Debating if I want to add rubber tree processing to this big shared resource area, or if I just want to, like, hook it up, you know, somewhere for me. Not sure what I want to do. I assume the problem that we had earlier was fixed with the constant crashing. What now? Uh, constant the crashing. Uh, yes, uh, Asinor fixed that bug. So, if you crash the server again, just, you know, let me know. I'm sure you'll be aware. Oh, I'm sure I'll be aware. And then I'll make you aware. <laughs> when I crash, I crash again. We'll both be aware. So, sticky resin can go through here. I'll probably want rubber tree wood to go down this way as well. Um, so, maybe I'll want to just dump it directly into this guy. That wouldn't be a bad thing. So, if I make another ender chest set up with this, I could just, you know, sort it back to my house. And then just have good amounts of rubber and scrap. It might not be a bad thing. Um, just questioning right now where I want the excess rubber and scrap to go. I don't know if, you know, we need it in the shared resource area. Like, my room's pretty much always open for anybody to come steal stuff anyway. Especially things I have tons of. So, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, you know what else I have to do is I have to get my uh, UU Matter thing working again. Uh, it doesn't work at the moment. I think I need to use a regulator. I just haven't completely figured out the proper build for it. But basically, I'm going to replace um, the relay down here with a regulator because um, the way gates work has changed. I need to place the gate on the bottom of this block in order for the you know trigger to occur with uh, inventory empty. But the problem with that is, like... If I put a gate down there, then I can't have a relay down there. And that was, like, all the fun of being able to dump massive amounts of scrap in here at once. So, I don't know. We'll figure that out. That's why I'm thinking regulator, because regulators can emit a redstone signal when they're satisfied, or when their inventory is satisfied. So, yeah, we'll see. So I'll be back in just a few minutes, guys, to uh, sort out what needs to be done with uh, this UU matter generation and also some rubber tree stuff going on. All right, guys, Alex is on the server with us. How's it going, man? Oh, pretty good. All right, popping right through here, and this is my secret chamber. Nice. You hey, shouldn't have that's... access to anything in this room yet, but I'm about to hook you up. Yep. No, that's the me... nice thing about the um, the portable hole. You can actually have truly secret rooms. Oh, yeah, it's awesome, right? Yes. Do I need to come demo? No, it's okay. Alex is fully aware of how this works. Now look on the uh, projector here. You see what the uh, upgrade slot is? Yes. Cool. All right, come back out into my house. This shouldn't kill you. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you can turn it on. Yep. Are you inside my house? 
Yep. Notice anything? Mm, I hear a noise. That's my generator running. Go into yeah. my Thalmcraft room. Oh, nice. Yep. So in the main room of my house, you can't notice it's there, but the uh, force fields match up with the walls of my house perfectly. Oh, sweet. So, like, you'll see it over here, too, with this, uh, with the block down to my basement. So what'll happen uh -huh. is anybody who's not allowed in, who might be trolling me at the moment, will just be hanging out in my house, won't even know a force field turned on, and it's just wireless remote activates and turns it off. Oh, nice. And it's got the kill station. It killed Soren in two hits. Mm-hmm. And what was he wearing? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't want to, like, oh. drop all his items. If you, if you no, want to bring what? your quantum suit over, Soren, we can see how quickly it kills you. Well, that's right, what I'm saying. Is... Quantum suit. What? I don't have a quantum suit. Well, I'll bring diamond armor or uh, something. I don't care. Just say, uh, I'm just checking to see what all I have on me. Let me use... Um... You can use a chest or yeah. something. No, I'm using NEI to back up my uh, stuff just in case it gets destroyed or something like that. Okay, that's a good idea. Here's this there. mod item chest. Put put uh, put all your stuff in this chest right here. And while you're doing that, I need to make a steak oh, cell. Most of the stuff I have is like junk, but it's basically the only thing I'm worried about is what I'm actually wearing. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm, the only thing I'm wearing now is my armor. We'll see how well it protects me. Because he was supposed okay. to fix that, so even even this armor is supposed to stop it. That is correct. All right, I'm taking your security card out of the system. Bye. You ready to die? Yep. That's if it's going to kill me. We'll see how much damage this he's uh thunder was yep. Oh. It actually disarmed me. Oh, did it? Disarmed me and took away half my uh health in one shot. Nice. Nice. It just threw all my stuff on the ground, so yeah, if it would have stayed on, it would have killed me because it took half my health in one shot, but that's because it disarmed me first. So that's how he fixed it. He actually basically added the miscraft disarming ability to it. It just dumps everything on the ground. Nice. Everything or just your armor? I didn't have anything else on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he only had his armor on. All right, well, your uh, your card is back in the security station now. Yep. So there you go. Yeah, that's uh, now you know that it doesn't matter how they come in here. If they're inside, when you turn that on... They're as good as dead, or at least disarmed. Yep. There's yeah. actually a defense station that I have to look into that can actually, like, scan for certain items in your inventory and take them out. Yep. yep. I know. I saw that, too, and that's, I plan on setting one of those up eventually. I might set one up either this episode or next, because that's, like, on my list of awesome. Yes, I know. Set... That's going to be very cool. We need to set XCOM and Thunderdark together so we can get it so they can't warp out of the shields. Make it truly uh -huh. evil. <laughs> uh, how would they be able to warp out of the shields if you disarm them of anything that allows them to do so? I don't know if it disarms everything in your inventory or just your armor set, because it's a different inventory. Uh, you can play... There's a player dot inventory yeah. well, put armor this way. I, I backed up everything in my thing with NEI, so Dyer, go ahead and uh, do that again. And let's see whether or not it disarms everything in my inventory. Well, the one security block I can make, by the way, um, you can specify items that people are allowed to have and items people aren't allowed to have. So if I just put yeah. it on, like, allow mode and put cobblestone in there, they'll only be allowed to have cobblestone, and it'll drop everything else. And it'll put it in the inventory of the block that it, like... Yeah, I know. That's the one thing I really <laughs> loved about it, is a way to disarm it, and it grabs everything and puts it inside the block. Instead of just yeah. dumping it on the ground, it actually catches it all. Yeah, I know. Pretty neat. I don't want to kill yes. you again. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> So yeah, I'm good. No, that's that's really cool. It just uh, I didn't I looked up and didn't see it, but when I came over here where they didn't have walls or anything like that, you could actually right. see it. Yep. Nice. Same thing. You have a whole bunch of jars of stuff in here. Mm -hmm. I know. Epic. Have you not played with those jars of stuff? I haven't played with anything Thalmacraft because I got frustrated with trying to get some of. It. I don't understand enough of the Thalmacraft to even get started on it. Just put silver and you get most of it. Do you have a Thalmanomicon yet? Yeah, I have, I've actually done one thing on Thalmacraft, and I have two researches I started to do, and I wasted so many resources, it's not even funny, just trying to get those two re uh, extra researches completed, and I couldn't get the uh, last aspect to move. Oh, really? Yeah. 
But then again, I just found out that it could have been that at the time I was doing it, there were some uh, glitches that he was fixing. And so it could have just been that. Yep, I also just, possible. Bas basically, I just got frustrated with it and just get, you know, says, okay, I'll just figure it out later. Yeah, don't blame me. <clears throat> All right, now I have to figure out how I want to wire this thing because this is going to be tricky. Because, yeah, I even have, I have. I don't have these little things that's off your cauldron or whatever, but I have the cauldron. I have the uh, regular, I forget what this one's called, this first enchant, the crafting table thingy that you put a wand in. And I've got the writing desk. And, but I don't have this big crafting table thingy you got, and I don't have any of these jars and stuff. Oh, you don't have the big crafting table thingy yet? No, this big stone one you have in the corner here, I don't even have that. Oh, you have lots to find now, dude. You got lots to do. I have done, not done a thing with Thaumacraft. Other than when it first came on, I started messing with it, built the regular tables. I tried doing some of the enchant, you know, doing some of the research, whatever, and right. got frustrated because it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> nice. I can't blame you. All right, so what this should do is recycle, send some scrap down. Now the relay here is going to collect the scrap and then the regulator is set up to scrap yeah no i'm really missing the uh and i'm loving the transmutation table take this the, out, uh, see the goes off? i missed the destruction catalyst and the uh mercurial eye in ee2 oh, if yeah. i had if i had those two things and the ability to store the emc necessary to run them both uh it's game over build, right? <laughs> building my tower would be easy yeah <laughs> It would be no. It would be like, okay, time to build the tower today. Okay, tower's done. I want to build another one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point that I almost did that for a while. Do what? Just build the tower today. Build another one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I totally missed some of the EE2 tools and toys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't yeah, wait. I just want the transmutation cells. tablet and the philosopher's stone. With those two as a starting whatever. I can, there's a lot I can do with my tower, but right now, like I said, my biggest problem is that I just I ran out of basalt. I don't have the basalt uh, make more. Right. Someone someone's been growing silverwood trees out back, haven't they? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> they help. Stupid skeleton! My... Don't shoot an arrow at me. Dude, you might damage. Uh, Dyer's house. That's right. It's protected by force fields. <laughs> <laughs> but he chipped, he chipped the piece of stone out here with his arrow. Man. Aww. I'll live. I'm, uh, I, I think I've finally sorted out how to get this mass fab running properly again using red yeah. power, which I'm very, very excited about, by the way. Mm. So, yeah, uh, apparently I heard something that they were talking about changing the, or a player was talking about changing the steam production for the reactor so that it does steam and EU. Now, that would make a little more sense. Yeah. Like, were See, you there I, when I did the math on it? Because I know you're a math guy, right? Yeah. Like, you'll, yeah, no, you'll Richard, do it. Richard, Richard said that it should produce output that is equivalent steam as what it would produce in EU. I'm but sure then, it does, but the problem is you can't hook up enough pipes to it. There's not enough faces on the block for yeah. pipes to hook up. Yep. Even with the uh, extra reactor chambers on it? Correct. Yep. Like, you can go test it and confirm my uh, work in single player if you want, but yeah, yeah no, no such luck. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I already know you're pretty thorough about that, so. Like, I might have missed something, but I had, like, I'll send you a screenshot. I took a screenshot of it. Like, I had pipes going everywhere, and the max I could hook up was three and a half pipes worth of, um, whatchamacallit stuff. Um, yeah. Of uh, the, the EU generators from Railcraft. All right, guys, so here's the setup, okay? While this thing is feeding in, it will take care of this. Now, when we don't have enough scrap Alex, here, have you seen my it should turn off. Um, uh, don't think so. Is that the one you're building out of your those Zycorm blocks or whatever with the igniters and stuff underneath them and stuff? Yeah, it's done. It was done when we, before the chunk reset, and the computer, the component was gone when we had that gone. So now it's working again. 
ta-da, auto shut off. So when the scrap is not in there, it automatically shuts off. Now I'm gonna put some scrap in the middle of the regulator here. This is like the buffer, remember? Now it's gonna go ahead and dump straight in there. How cool is that? I like it. I like everything about it. Nice. So now what should happen is I should, should be able to just send some scrap down and let's see where it goes. You ready? It's gonna go along this way and make its way towards here, I believe, right? Scrap goes, well, actually, it might go up here. That's all right. We'll see what... I think it goes that way first. What's Covert on about having the Forgecraft bandwidth usage? Uh, he did some uh, tweaks to Buildcraft to make it use less bandwidth, he said. Nice! Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go check out make this its way down here. chicken farm. Oh, I can't quite run as fast as you can fly. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> it's just there. You don't have so, a gravity suit. Lame. No, I don't really want to craft one. <laughs> I think I'm going to aim for crafting one here soon. Yes, I kind of want to get Zyko done first. All, all the cool people have a gravity suit. Hmm, I wonder if I can't have a relay connected directly to a regulator. That's the one part of this build I haven't tested. That Looks might be good. a nuisance. I'm a sidekick and excluded, but basically this runs for about 20 minutes or so for getting the chickens out, because that's roughly how long a chicken takes to grow. And then, as soon as this period's done, for 10 seconds, it'll have the igniters turned on. They, they have advanced screens also? I knew about the advanced computers, but I didn't know about advanced screens. Yeah, they show color. It's the only yeah, they're neat. All right, guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. Well, I need to test this regulator single color. player. All right, guys, I do need a little bit of a gap here, so let's take care of this. Um, I'm going to clear this stuff out. Yeah, I was in single player cheat mode. Testing, I'm testing, testing. I'm remaking one of my uh, APIs for uh, computer craft where you can have a console kind of system. You walk up, right click it, and up and down arrow keys for and... selecting something. I didn't see Pahamar leave panel. He's hiding from you. Sneaky yep. sneaky. He quit shortly after I said, uh, asked if you were there. Hmm. Okay. I will find but him. I will track him down. Right after building yeah, the chicken farm, I turned around and saw Neptune's little portal here. It's like, this is very inconvenient. Oh, really? I can't put a state cell on top of this thing? That is Convenient evil. for trolls, but... Okay, uh, next option. Chicken, not a bear. Do it this way. There we go. That'll do. I hope. Alright, so, uh, you probably are running right now, and that's not good. I don't want you running. Because I knocked off my state cell. Or no, it's okay. It's not running. My knock gate's keeping it off. It just can't turn on. Good. Scrap into the system, please. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> Testing I wonder this. if uh, someone asked this, uh, put up the sign, how do you catch a bat? And I put a reply on their portal slash, slash grav gun. <laughs> <laughs> put an egg right next to it. There's just like a plethora of eggs right under the ground there. Did someone get tired of falling into the, uh, is this the Thaumacraft furnace? Oh yeah, I noticed there's a trap door on it now. Yeah. I was like, I was jumping oh. around and I says, there's a trap door up here. Did someone get tired of falling in? <laughs> I think Asmore put that for a demo because he has that set up in his. Ah. It's nifty. So notice that my mass fab will run. So check this out, Soren. Here's my solution to this. Ready? The state cell keeps the knot gate running, so it disables the knot gate so that the redstone signal is not affecting the mass fab. So right. now the way it works is the state cell will wait until the mass fab is empty for two full seconds before it activates the redstone signal. And the regulator will keep everything um, properly filled because it'll say like, you know, keep at least one piece of scrap in at all times. I'm gonna even have it keep like two in at all times. That ought to be good. 50. 
Not bad, right? <clears throat> By the way, Dyer, yeah, um, your sheep farms, we, we're we pretty sure that it was uh, Thomcraft causing lightning strikes, basically. Oh, is that what it was? One of those evil Thomcraft nodes? I've never found one of those yet, and it's like on my to-do list of things I want to have happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, I want to find evil Thomcraft things, because I heard there's like all I, kinds I, of neat negative Thomcraft effects now, and I really want to see some of them. I, I haven't seen any yet. I, unless something's caused it to reset, I know where one is. Well, I know there's one in the that just spawns wisps endlessly, but I've seen wisps before. I want to see some of the new stuff. No, 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 no. I, I found one that uh, Asnor, I was screaming it and showed Asnor, and Asnor said it was an evil node. Oh, cool. Evil node. Or a dark node or something like that. This texture Cyrus. Nice. This is working perfectly. Awesome. So it'll keep bouncing uh, the stuff in here, but that's okay. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll just come down and check it every now and then. I could use managers if I really wanted to be a little bit more sensitive about, you know, stuff, but meh. All right, guys, okay. next build, ready to go. Got a couple blade ender pearls here, giving me some of this stuff. Uh, Soren, I might need you to help me test this again. Do it doesn't involve dying again? I don't think so, but it involves removing stuff out of your inventory. Okay, then let me put it all in nice, neat fashion. Who built the, uh... Where'd all my stuff go? Power room oh, I know. for the, um, um, the, the, um, charging the redstone energy cells. I built it and it was cool and then somebody made it awful. How'd they make it off? They Everything was... that it is now is awful. Yeah. They, they, they I, I, replaced I, I, all I, the switches. I put the sign switch. down. You see the sign I put down, YouTube? Yeah. Ugliest yeah. thing I've ever seen. Shame. Because I built like this nifty room with one switch that turned on all the engines, and it toggled Remember. the red or green light. Now and there's individual levers replaced... in front of everything, and the red yeah. and green light don't control well, it all. So I don't know who did that. He actually had a good plan. <laughs> he was going to use the gates for charging, but for whatever reason, they disappeared, and yeah. it blew up the pipes. Awesome. This is why I'm I'm too scared to, to do much more closely looking at Direwolf's builds, even to just to copy them. Oh, I mean, it's quite I, I all right. That was pretty cool. I even used it once I, no, I'm just convinced I'm going to mess it up. I'm just convinced I'm going to mess it up. I mean, don't I be afraid to mess it up. up. Once already. Like, yeah, there's one thing that's like, like, you know, I mean, it's it's redstone wiring. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. easy. Do you happen to have red fire? Uh, not um, on me. I might have some in one of my chests over here. Yeah, I've, I've got some, but I'd have to go get it. Okay, well, I'll place a lever for you to use there. there. <laughs> I'm having terrible amounts I, of fun uh, with MFFS, by the way. Okay, so I gotta come to the dire wands over here. Who left the redstone energy cell here? Was it you? I just placed it down. Oh, okay. I can probably yes. charge it faster for you if you want. Please. Oh yeah, you okay. have that setup for it. Yeah, yeah. Mine keeps fluctuating because it depends on the fuel sources of the workshop. Yeah, I'll be yes. right back with the charge cell for you. We'll, we'll see how long it takes to charge it. <laughs> that is an evil laugh. Let me just tell you. I feel scared now. Can I have my cell back? <laughs> I think I scared my okay. live stream last time with the evil laugh. Okay, it's plugged in. Turning Dude, engines on. This is a complicated machine. What is going on? Engines are on. I mean, it can only take 100 EQ per MJ per tick. Yeah, but I think I can actually put that much in. Oh, got it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, I'm putting 80 MJ per tick into it. Count! 80 Minecraft tools per tick? Yep. That's definitely a lot. Well, it's That's... only 8 electric engines fully yeah. upgraded. Oh, Get is that all? Upgrade. Yeah. Oh, I'm Just... actually gonna I'm actually gonna be doubling that soon though. I use <laughs> Have you guys okay, you guys probably haven't seen this. If you want to take a break real quick and come look at my setup, whatever, there's a book from my place, Atlantean OP, in the uh, Nexus. Are you ready later. for me to come see it? Because the last few times you've not been wanting on camera yet. No. Oh, no, no, no. You can come look at it anytime you want. Just, I've got, I've started doing the build or whatever, and just, I ran out of assault. Oh, cool. All right. Force energy. I wonder, if, I guess this thing has to be turned on with the redstone signal. All right, guys. I might save this block for next episode and wrap up this episode by going to visit uh, my buddy uh, Alex over here. So let's go do that. 
So we'll see Alex, and then I'll, I'll leave it till next episode to explain how that block works. And maybe I'll even understand it a little bit better by the time I explain it. Usually good oh, to understand it when you here. explain it. What's that? Usually good to understand it by the time you explain it. You would think. Sometimes I just wing it. There you go. Oh, cool, thanks. Atlantean OP. Whoa. So what are you creating here, by the way, Alex? Whoa. Tower. No, I mean, like, what's your general con concept for this build? Um, this is actually based off, like the last time, this is inspired by Stargate Atlantis, the city of Atlantis. Nice. This is the set, this is going, what you're seeing now is going to be the central tower. Okay, I'm watching oh, that cool. series now. This better be accurate. <laughs> you're watching I like what? it. <laughs> Stargate Atlantis again. No, no. Yeah, I said it's inspired by it. It's not going to be Atlantis because uh, there's no way. Save. You do realize that the city of Atlantis, the central spire of that city is over 400 meters tall. Mm -hmm. That's why I said. There, there's no way I could fit that in this Minecraft world, even if I started at bedrock. You can kind of two. build it to scale, though. <laughs> like one half scale. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see what you got going on here. So what do you got? Is... What's this? Is this an HP solar array? How do you? Oh, yes. I see. Because you have a block open up top there. That's why. Um, yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, um... like, how is this on inside? Oh, okay. Update that graph for you right now. I can't. What now? So, on update Zycraft to make something from this. Cool. Keep going. I want to see. So you have one HV solar powering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electric engines that are fully upgraded with uh, increased outputs and reduced intakes. Nice. Yep. What's the combined draw from all eight of these engines? Uh, it is the 35 an engine, so 70, 140. Cool. So you got, oh. like, a lot more expanding to do. Yeah, like I said, I'm about to double the engines on it because these engines uh, pour through these. They basically charge this bank of redstone energy cells. And this bank nice. of redstone energy cells, I make a connection off this side right here, and I run it to my quarries wherever I happen to put my quarries. Oh, cool. This this bank of redstone energy cells, these eight cells, will power two quarries flat out. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, two. Wow. I like redstone energy cells. They're just kind of cool looking. Yes, they are. I I use them all the time. I mean, once I discovered them, it's like I switched to. <laughs> this is what I use. I don't. Yeah. I don't have any build crafts pipes or Alex anything. <laughs> well, those of us who are like a little OCD about wasting build craft power, like these are. Uh -huh. <laughs> these are for yeah. us. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, I have this. I also have these set up so that uh, when I run my quarries. Um, right. I have the item detector over here just yeah, before the overflow is right here so that when it overflows, it will get back to this item detector quick, which will actually send a signal back here to cut off the power. Oh, I gotcha. So when there's an overflow, it cuts off your power for you. Nice. Yep. I like that. That and way I don't have to worry got... about uh, any spillage or anything like that. Nice big biomass tank, a bunch of items in your... Yeah, the biomass tank is actually... I can probably send all this stuff back to the uh, to someone else that needs it because um, I switched to electric engines. Yeah. So where's your quarry at? None of n none of the quarries are set up. Everything... Under, this is nine by nine chunks, this tower you're in right now. Nice. Everything, everything under it has been completely quarried out. The tower oh. house by scale. Yes, tire house by scale. Nine by nine chunks, like that's kind of clutch. Yeah. <laughs> and every single one of these barrels is ED barrels, by the way. Oh, they're all, oh wow, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah. And and, and this cobblestone barrel right here has been yep. emptied 11 times. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks you don't need that anymore. <laughs> So, I mean, if if I had a void pipe thing that I could hook up to tubes, I would. <laughs> well, I mean, like, have you seen my void pipe thing hooked up to tubes? No. I just put down, like, tube, transposer, void pipe. Well, oh, obsidian yeah. pipe, yeah. void pipe. Yeah, obsidian pipe. I'm trying to avoid using any buildcraft pipe at all just because I just... I, my closest thing I could do is put a transposer over a... Uh, a uh, block of lava. Yeah, that'll work too. Yeah, and then that way it just it puts it right into the lava. But 
So yeah, my next no, question is, are you going to have a force field that surrounds this tower? Force field won't get big enough. I'd have to use multiples, and then uh, I'd have to find some way to shape it because of the yeah. uh, cornered walls. All oh, right. Yep. Um, but I probably I will have force fields in various places. Like I'll put like force fields over the doors, maybe. Uh, actually, I'm not sure about the side doors, the the corner ones. Um, building this in an octagon shape is going to make doing force fields difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see Unless you have a I lot can... of lights on your roof, too, so that you don't get mob spawns. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, you do realize that every single one of those is wrath lights? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Believe me, I noticed immediately. <laughs> like, like, no wonder really it's so nice and bright game. in here. Yeah, come look at the roof. Uh, look, come look on top of the roof. After you make a wrath yeah. igniter, you only need one. Or really. Oh, by the way, do you need a jetpack to get up here, Soren? There you done your board. Let me see if I can find out what I do with my jetpack. I can just teleport him. Yeah. No, here's a. Oh, no, that's the lap pack. I'm good. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I. Uh... We're free! <laughs> but uh, yeah, see, I have wrath lights up here. Right. Also. And then I've also got wrath lights underneath. Oh, man. You're crazy. <laughs> no, I never <laughs> notice. I had to make like 400 wrath lights. So Let's what go. book do I take to see all this? Atlantean oh, there it is. Atlantean OP. Yeah. I play there something you you'll never know. Never see it. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> is it small enough, Lyra? No. I, why didn't you apply for my Feed the City thing? <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah, see? Same thing. <laughs> I told her the same thing. She's just like, oh, well. It was there right, almost guys. for a week. I'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs>